So I wanted to make a different kind of hiking video because uh, things are about to get real on the channel. Um, as I head north, uh, you know, the other day we did, you know, first peek at the Yearling Trail. Uh, but during the week, probably there's going to be nobody there. And uh, anytime you're getting up into the Ocala National Forest with uh, a trail that's got twists and turns. I don't know if you saw, but there was a trail that went off to the right. I'm not sure if that was part of the loop or if you took that, whether you were get, be getting lost or whatever. So <clears throat> I got to get uh, get real about the, the day hikes. You know, day hike can be just as uh, dangerous as backpacking, uh, actually more so, because a lot of times you don't have all your gear along. You know, backpacking, you can always, uh, even if you break a leg or whatever, you know, hopefully you can get a tent up and, you know, and try to stay warm until somebody finds you. And usually with backpacking, you have to log your journey with the, uh, the rangers, or you should anyway. Uh, and so they'll, uh, you know, if you, if you're not back, um, you know, they'll, uh, they'll come and come and look for you. But, uh, in my situation, it's a little bit different because, you know, the divorce is final. So, you know, it used to be, I would just tell my wife, you know, I'm going for a hike today. And of course, you know, when you come, come back to your, your house, um, you know, your significant other's there. So if you didn't come back, more than likely, she would have called somebody and they would have come looking for me. And usually you have to survive overnight because they don't, uh, even for rangers, you know, they don't want to be out at night on the trails. Um, now you can always take a locator with you, uh, you know, because that's another thing, you know, the cell phone. You know, where I've hiked before, I always had the, um, the cell phone with me. And, as, you know, as we went, uh, well, west, you know, pretty much every, everywhere I've hiked so far, I, well, I shouldn't say everywhere. <laughs> I've done some crazy hikes. But, you know, most of the time I've got a cell phone signal, so I could always call somebody. But you can't call nobody in the Ocala National Forest. Now, like, there, there is an emergency mode on that thing, on the cell phone, I think. I've never, I've never used it. But anyway, so, <clears throat> so what do we got to think about? So we got to put together a backpack. Now, you can go... 20, 30 days without food, so not too worried about the food. I'd probably just take some trail mix along because these, these upcoming hikes are going to be long hikes. And uh, so, you know, you might want some, some salty food, uh, some trail mix, uh, maybe a power bar, uh, you know, and then, you know, lots of water because, you know, it used to be I'd just carry maybe a bottle of water or two because, you know, when you're doing, when you're doing like the Florida Trail, you know, that's just a straight shot. You're not... You're not making turns out in, the, in a national forest and hiking all over the place. You know, you could see that when we looked at that yearling trail sign, there were a lot of trails back in there. You could get lost very easily. Or, you know, the, there's always the possibility of twisting an ankle or a snake bite or whatever. So the first thing I had to think about was, who do I tell that I'm going for a day hike? And I thought about it. And, uh, and I, I said, well, you know, I don't really have... It's sad to say, <laughs> any close friends here in Florida, I have some acquaintances and I don't think they want to be bothered all the time with me calling them up saying I'm going for a hike, you know. So I don't, uh, that wasn't a possibility, but then it hit me. And this is something you might want to think about, was I belong to the VFW. So, uh, you know, what I can do is uh, whenever I'm going on a hike and that's real close to my house, I could just swing in there real quick, tell them, hey, you know, I'm going up into the Kala National Forest if you don't hear from me, uh, you know, by tomorrow. Because, you see, the problem is the VFW closes, or mine does, at about 5 o'clock. Now, there's another VFW that stays open later, and maybe I'll go there. But, I'm, you know, I, I don't know those people that well, but I'm sure they would do it for me. And then just tell them, say, look, if you, if, if you haven't heard from me, you know, call out the truth, because <laughs> you got to let somebody know, you know. So I thought that would work pretty good. So maybe, you know, if, if you're not a veteran, you know, maybe, uh, you know, join the Eagles or whatever, you know, if, if you don't have anybody that you can tell. I mean, I know it's, it sounds sad that, that I don't have anybody I can tell. Now, I could call my stepsister up in Virginia 
and then tell her, you know, if she doesn't hear from me, but you know, she doesn't know Florida very well. Uh, well, the hell, the VFW, they probably don't know it that well. So, that, you know, so then what do you put in your backpack? Well, the first thing would be uh, a poncho. Because uh, even in Florida, and that's another reason that I have to rethink things. Because here in Florida at this time of the year, it gets very cold at night. And uh, I say very, I mean, you know, relatively speaking, you know, it's getting down. When you get down below 50, that's hypothermia right there, unless you've got some some uh, some clothes to put on and I you know I'm thinking I've been thinking about things you know you could put a sweatshirt in there but I'm not sure that's going to be adequate now I have a sleeping bag that I can ball up into a little ball about this big that I've showed it to you for backpacking so I think I'll be throwing that in the backpack along with uh, a lot more water than I'm used to carrying I've got uh, I got a camelback and I'll I'll fill that up with uh, five liters of water now that's a lot of a lot of weight on your back to hike even you know even day hiking so I don't know it, it would depend on the hike but uh, you know these are getting dangerous I mean the hell there might be panthers in the woods from from uh, 314 to 40 because that's another hike I'm, I'm gonna be doing here soon um, and that one I got to worry about snakes well you got to worry about snakes on any trail but I mean you know if as long as you can see the ground really well you know it's Usually you're going to see the snake before you get to them, you know, and I uh, whenever I, you know You've heard me talk about it when I've been in deep grass or things like that that uh, you know I don't I don't like hiking in that without my snake leggings. I have leggings for my legs and whenever you're hiking in brush that uh, You know where you can't see where you're, you're putting your feet down, you know, be careful. How you doing? So that's uh, that's the next thing so poncho Probably a sleeping bag in case you get caught out there overnight. Uh, the poncho to keep you dry. Some added water, some snacks. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, you could carry a first aid kit, but I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't see, you know, if, if a snake bites you, first aid kit ain't gonna do no good. If you, if you, you know, if you, I don't think you're gonna cut yourself. Uh, I mean, you could, I guess, somehow. Uh, I'd be more worried like about a twisted ankle first aid kit ain't gonna do you no good there uh, Or uh, uh, maybe a spider bite, you know poison the spider You know, there's a lot of a lot of ways you're gonna get get bad, but you know a first aid kit now there is a um, And I was gonna buy it and I, I probably will as they make these uh, bandages That you so let's say you you did break a bone you can put this uh, bandage around it and it'll tighten up on its own and that's and that would be a way to to you know reinforce a broken bone and uh i'll i'll go, I'll go over that when i find it i can't remember what it's called but uh and that's also good for um a wound you know if you if you did get a a, a big wound it's uh, good for that too so uh those are things to think about as i think of more we'll get more video there was a couple of, oh yeah, a headlamp, of course. You know, you're gonna want some sort of light, you know, and I tell you, a headlamp is the best thing on earth and they're dirt. Well, I wouldn't buy the cheap ones. I mean, you can go to like a CVS or something like that, but no, go to REI, look around, you're gonna spend the 70 or 80 bucks and get a good one and make sure you get the one with the uh, four batteries. That's the one that I like, you know, cause you can look at the lum luminescence of the, of the headlamp you know, so you want to get the, the best that you can get. And because uh, the four batteries are going to last you a lot longer and it's going to be a lot brighter. Uh, whereas the three battery headlamps, you know, they do OK. So that would be another big concern. So let's see, uh, maybe some added clothes so that you can stay dry. Um, I mean, stay stay warm and, you know, or even use for a pillow in the sleeping bag. So there's a there's a lot of things. I, I'll add on to this video as soon as uh, I think of anything else that I would carry. Uh, oh yeah, how are you going to be dressed? Okay, this is a this is going to be different. Okay, you're going to want you're going to want hiking shoes in the Akala National Forest. I'm not going to be wearing tennis shoes. I mean, you could. I, I saw people, you know, plenty of people. I mean, if you're, as long as you're, if you're with a group of people, you know that's fine. But you know, I'm I'm always by myself. But uh, so you know, so what I'm going to have is bloused. Uh, hiking pants, of course, you've seen them, the green pants, uh, with like they got lots of pockets and all of them with zippers. You remember, I told you to get the get the pants with the zipper, 
and uh, and then of course uh, the hiking shoes with uh, hiking socks. Not, I mean, you could wear cotton socks if you wanted to, but uh, hiking socks are are just a lot better on your feet because uh, you don't want a blister, you know. And that's a, that's a thing for me, is I don't have to worry about blisters. I've I've hiked 10 miles in them hiking shoes, and you know my feet are just fine. So I, I you know, but but let's say you were worried about blisters you would probably want some blister buster band-aids that you can buy at walgreens or cvs or whatever pharmacy you go to um, those are really good because they got anti uh uh what anti uh bio, bi antibacteria qualities to them i guess that's the what you want to call so they're, they're you know they're they'll uh you know get that area especially if the blister pops on you you know that'll that'll uh, help you out so let's see uh, what else? Of course, for a top, I mean, you're going to want a, a huge floppy hat because you're going to be out in, well, hopefully you're out in the sunlight because uh, I wouldn't want to go deep into the Ocala National Forest with the with the 20 to 40 percent chance of rain. Because <laughs> you know, I tell you, here in Florida, 20 percent might as well be 80 percent. Every time I go out on a 20 percent day, it rains on me. And I don't want to get rained on in the Ocala National Forest, so I won't be going unless it's going to be a, a, a nice uh, warm day and uh, I guess uh, that's about it um, trying to think you know and of course for your top you know you might want to cover up your arms wear a long sleeve shirt um, that's not a bad idea because uh, you know you don't want to get sunburned while you're out there the floppy hat is the most important thing um, you know as far as your gear goes and then of course you're going to want a walking stick because if something does come at you Let's say a rabid raccoon or a, well, hopefully not a wild pig. <laughs> I'm not sure the walking stick would do a lot of good there. But, you know, at least it's something to keep between you and the animal that may may be attacking you. And uh, so you're going to want a walking stick. Uh, of course, I'll have bear spray because this is the Ocala National Forest. Um, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and get my concealed carry so that I can be packing. But, I mean, a handgun, it ain't going to take down a bear and... You know, with with the walking stick and the backpack, I'm not going to be carrying a, a rifle in there, although you could, you know, but that'd be a lot to carry for a long period of time, even though I did it in the Marine Corps. So, um, so there you go. That's, uh, that's all the gear that I'm thinking about right now. And if I come up with something else, I'll let you know. Like I said, I am going to be joining uh, the trail crews uh, here in Florida to help them out uh, doing trail maintenance, doing volunteer work. I wouldn't mind getting paid for it. That I need the money at this point. I'm, I'm underwater in the house without my wife's uh, uh, social security. So I don't know how I'm gonna make ends meet and stay in my house. And I know I could downsize and move, but I don't wanna, I mean, I put a lot of work into that house, three years of work, um, you know, and boy, to, to move would just be hugely expensive. Oh my God, even locally. But uh, I may just have to do it. All right, man. So uh, I'm not going to do the mantra on this video because, uh, you know, maybe adding to it as I think of things. I'm getting ready to go get my uh, dumbbell. I don't know if you've ever seen. I get my exercise by uh, just taking a dumbbell and I, I'm going to hike about oh, four miles today to get some get some upper body, get an upper body workout. I can't carry the camera along and do the dumbbell at the same time, you know. So I'm heading back to the car at this point. But I just wanted to make a quick quick video about gear. Things to think about. <clears throat> Peace out. And stay free. So I forgot to add one thing. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot it. Toilet paper and alcohol wipes. The alcohol wipes are good if you cut your leg or something and you can sterilize that area. Uh, plus they're good for other things too, getting, getting clean or whatever. Uh, that's two things I wanted to add to the video. So I almost forgot the last extremely important item. <laughs> I don't know what I think about sometimes. A compass. You're going to want to take a compass and don't be stupid like me, you know. As soon as you get on that trail, you know, shoot a back azimuth to the, uh, to the, the road that you just came off of. So for example, uh, I was on SR-19, uh, which probably would be east, okay? So, you know, once you get out on the trail and you're out there five, six, seven miles, um, 
you know, and, and some people say take a map. I mean, you could take a map. I haven't found maps too extremely helpful, especially here in Florida, because, you know, topographical map, you can kind of, you know, oh, there's the mountaintop, you know, but uh, here in Florida, it's just flat. <laughs> so, so uh, but, uh, you know, it, it is good. I mean, you know, um, sometimes the trails aren't marked too well, that's for sure. But uh, as long as you got that back azimuth, um, you know, you just kind of set your direction and, you know, as the trail, you know, this trail connects to that trail and that trail connects to this trail. As long as you just kind of keep going, uh, for example, you know, I'll be because I'll be going west on, on the, uh, the hike. Uh, as long as I keep going east to get back to SR19, I'm eventually going to get to the road. And then once on once you're on the road, you're golden. I mean, I don't care if you're on a trail miles from the one that you, you hiked in on, you know, all you got to do. And then, on you know, once you're on the road, of course, I guess you'll have to figure out whether you're going to go north or south. But at least you're on the road, and uh, and I'm sure cars will be driving by eventually. Even even out there in the Ucala National Forest, they might be few and far between at night. Um, so anyway, that's it. Just forgot that one item. <laughs> Real important. Get your compass. All right. Peace out. Stay free. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please. Peace out.